Hello there, welcome to my YouTube cycling channel. Today I'm going to show you how to merge two Garmin files so that you can upload it to Strava as a single ride. So I'm sure we've all been there, the Garmin's messed up, you've had to stop it for some reason, and it's divided your epic ride into two separate files. This actually happened to me the last time I rode a Century and it really pissed me off. So now instead of getting angry, there's a, a website you can use where it will merge the two files and you can upload it to Strava as a single ride. So what you need to do is navigate to a website called fitfiletools.com and launch the file combiner app. So here we have a box where it needs you to drop the files. Uh, you can drop as many files as you like, um, but for the sake of this example, I'm just going to use the two files that my Garmin created when I did my Century. So you need to go and find those files, and they're usually on your Garmin, in the folder marked Garmin, and in the Activities folder. Uh, but th that involves having to navigate and find them and everything, um, and that's not as easy and straightforward as it first looks. Uh, Garmin also has a rather odd uh, kind of date naming convention, so they have the year first, the month, and then the day. Um, I've already found the two files, and for sake of convenience, I've just put them in a folder here called 100 Mile Fit File. So I'll just open those up, select them, and then just drag them down into this box here. So that's the files in the box. I'll click Go, and it creates the file. And now it gives me the option of either downloading the original file or uploading that file to Strava. And as most of you will probably want to upload to Strava, let's click that. So now what you need to do is give the activity a name. So I'm just going to call it 100 miles. And it's a cycling activity, so I'll just call that cycling. And I'll click upload. Now Strava is actually quite clever. It's detected that it's a duplicate activity and here's the original activity that I did on the day that I rode the, the 100 miler. Uh, now what I could do is I could proceed inside uh, Fit File Tools and actually upload the, the file to Strava by clicking here. But what that would do is it would erase all of my kudos and the comments and everything um, and I don't really want to do that so uh, I'm, I'm not going to click that for the moment but instead I'm just going to click here and download the file. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions uh, leave a comment but in the meantime thank you for watching and please have a look at some of my other how-to films.